All right, Andre, I am super excited because we're about to go pick up our new truck. And as you guys can tell, we're in our Toyota Tundra, which we yes. actually put on how many miles in the last four and a half months? 7,336 according to the odometer. Yep. And we're trading our brand new 2022 don't Tundra. Tell them, don't tell them, we'll show them. Don't tell them, but we are here at Johnson's, right? <laughs> and what does Johnson sell? Uh, so Johnson Auto Plaza here in Brighton, Colorado, they yes. sell GMCs, yes. they sell Chevrolets, they sell Jeeps, Dodges, Rams. So one of those. One of those. One of those. Uh, and we got great news because earlier this week we did a video where we were trying to explain kind of the business behind the way we use these vehicles. If you yep. want to watch that, just go to uh, alltfl.com where you'll see it. Uh, but we got an email from who? We got an email from Stephen Wade in St. George, Utah. Yes. It's a dealership. Network. Uh, it's a network uh, of Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Yep. Once again, uh, Stellantis yep. brands. Um, but they have a Toyota dealership too. We have a, they have a Toyota in town, I yes. believe. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, and they offered us even a better deal. Yeah, they offered us, let me show you. They offered us <laughs> They offered us this number for this truck. For as a trade-in. Yeah, basically the MSRP, which is 57105. Uh, so uh, it's really great news for us because that means we have more money now because of these guys to actually spend on other vehicles, right? Because the business case is that we don't make money on vehicles but we buy them and then we trade them in on the next one right yeah we, and we make money on videos right. and you guys watching so yeah. thank you yeah but but this will give us a bigger budget than to buy additional trucks to review additional trucks so uh, you know I'm super psyched uh, we've got uh, a new truck and we got MSRP for the old truck uh, and the way they're gonna do it is uh, Johnson's is basically gonna wholesale it to kind of pass through it pass through it yeah, yeah. to the other dealership uh, so we get the full tax credit as well uh, enough of the business time Andre it's time to go uh, pick up our new vehicle hey there's Ryan there's Ryan uh, uh, there's uh, one Ryan. of the owners of the dealership yeah yeah he's here that's cool Ryan, Hi guys. hey, what up, dude? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. You guys don't let grass grow under your feet, do you? No, no. No. Nope. Nice to see you, sir. You too. Yeah. So the truck's down there at the Chevy building, so if you want to drive down there and we'll uh, meet you over there. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, she did say Chevrolet building, didn't he? Yeah, now we're narrowing it down. <laughs> uh, so let's go see. I think I see it, Andre. <laughs> you see it? Yes, I it's think out I see front. It. It's out front. How cool is that? Oh my God, that color is badass, dude. What do you think? You did well, Andre. You did well. That is a... Oh, well, look at that. Well, so we ordered it a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, my God. A long time ago. One badass truck. Let's go take a look at it. Okay. Let's, 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 go, let's, take let's a look. go. Let's go. Oh, Andre. Look at this. I know. That looks so cool, dude. What do you think about the color scheme? Because I was kind of nervous about it being a little bit camouflaged. And I was also nervous about, like, Chevy kind of being late to the party, right? Yeah. I mean, Ram has the TRX, Ford has the Raptor, yeah. and finally Chevy has, you know, the ZR2. So, uh, 35s love... from the factory? 33s. 30... Oh, Chevy. Okay, okay. Can you well, put on 35s? You could, in yeah. theory, yeah. No, but, mm. but this is maybe like a Tremor competitor, also a TRD Pro competitor. It's, it, it doesn't have a supercharger, but still, I can't wait to fire this up. All right, no, all right so you get to do the fun part, Andre, what? which is, you know, do the walk around, and I'm <laughs> yes. gonna go inside and do the Oh, the part. bad part. Right, I'll go pay for it, okay? <laughs> so give him a walk around while I go pay for this thing. Okay. Okay, guys, first Colt start on the new V8 ZR2 Silverado. V8 noise, nice. Well, here we go, guys. I'm a little bit sad to let go of the Toyota Tundra. It's going away. But now it's all about this, the latest and greatest and the most off-road 
were the Silverado 1500 truck that GM has produced to date. It's the bigger brother to the Colorado ZR2. And I ordered this truck almost as early as I could. I was in contact with Johnson Auto Plaza here in Brighton. And I, as soon as the order books opened, I jumped on it. And I think that's why we were one of the first ones to actually get it and got some of the early MSRP pricing on this truck that I'll tell you in a second. But basically it's a crew cab with a short bed, so to speak. But the bed is at about 69 inches, which is uh, actually quite close to six feet. So it's more than five and a half feet, has special suspension. I'll show you that in a second and unique tires. The wheel itself is an um, 18 inch wheel and there's several different options for wheels. I kind of am glad I ordered these with a little bit of a polished um, kind of design here because I think it sets it off a little bit. It's a little bit more visible, uh, just, just my personal taste. And this is a, basically a 33 inch tall tire. So yes, it's not a true Raptor TRX competitor in that way, uh, but this is what Chevrolet decided to do. And the size is, let's see, 275 70 R18. It is a Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT, and it's a really knobby version of this tire. And I'm really glad, I think it's a good tire choice. The Silverado ZR2 is using the DSSV Multimatic Spool Valve Shocks. Very similar technology to what's available on the Colorado ZR2. Those are very well regarded. Um, and these shocks are actually the same piston size. So the same diameter as the ZR2, but it, they're much longer and a little bit reconfigured to fit underneath the Silverado. So the technology is the same, they're position sensitive. And I've actually driven one of these uh, about 70 miles off road in uh, California desert and I can tell you firsthand that my first impression was very positive and comfortable and also resilient suspension off-road. In the back also of course the SSVs but this truck has leafs not coil springs in the back solid axle in the back of course independent suspension in the front. Let's talk about truck specs before I show you the engine. Payload is 1,400 and 23 pounds. It's actually almost the maximum available on the Silverado ZR2. I think the max is 1,440 and we're very close to that because uh, this is also the most affordable ZR2 actually. Uh, yes, affordable is a relative term, but I did not specifically get like the sunroof. I did not get the rear camera mirror. I did not get some of those items like even the rock slider steps, which I'm now kicking myself I should have got those rock sliders, but maybe that's an accessory. We can go to Chevy Performance and get that accessory really soon and put it on the truck because I think that also is very useful and also uh, makes it look better. 8,900 pounds of towing. So this truck will tow almost 9,000 pounds. So of course, yes, the two inch receiver, seven pin connections and even connections for trailer cams. So we can um, actually play with that if we wanted to. Over 23 degrees of departure, 23 degrees of breakover in the middle, and over approximately 31 degrees in the front of approach. Well, just over 11 inches of ground clearance overall. And I'll tell you the price after I show you the engine. In the front, of course, all unique style, the grill, the flow tie design here to get more air into the radiators, red painted tow hooks up front, very similar to the one on the Trail Boss but the fascia has been redesigned, the lights, and the hood is unique to the ZR2. And of course it says 6.2 liters to let you know that this is a proper V8. And here's the deal about the ZR2 Silverado. It's using basically the same 6.2 you can get another Silverado and Sierra trucks for light duty segment. Uh, 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque, and a 10 speed automatic. There's a little bit of a misconception about the Silverado ZR2 I want to address now. Some outlets out there um, online will tell you that this is basically a championship winning, uh, best in the desert off-road racing truck because they tested this truck in the racing series before it went on sale. And that's basically true with a couple of caveats. It, it, it did finish all of its races, which is amazing. 
Um, it did use the same engine, same power plant, which means it's durable, which is amazing. But it did not compete against any other truck in that class. It was basically a class of one. It was uncontended for the Silverado ZR2. So yes, it did finish all the races. It did use the DSSV valve shocks, kind of racing versions of those shocks, but it was just kind of a class of one, which I think is also quite special because they actually went through it and with Chad Hall Racing and completed all those racing miles, which is amazing. MSRP on this truck is $67,215. It's less than a $70,000 starting price of the Raptor. Of course, it's way less than the TRX. Uh, it's even a little bit less starting price than the new Tundra TRD Pro Hybrid. So you get all the torque, all the power, all the special suspension, and let's jump inside because you also get special tech. The interior is all new. And actually, some, most trims, in fact, for the new Silverado 2022 have this interior. Check it out. I have a gigantic screen here, horizontal orientation. I have another gigantic digital gauge cluster right here. I have all my switches and my buttons. This is what makes the ZR2 unique in the half-ton segment front and rear lockers no other 1500 series truck offer a front selectable locker they have some other solutions like brake distribution or torsion limited slips but selectable locker i think is where it's at it has a lot of luxury features too so of course automatic climate control ventilated seats that are on right now then the fans are coming up and they're a little bit loud delayed infotainment system with google assistant oh can i do this or will Roman really be upset? Ah, the first... I'm gonna unwrap this screen. Oh, this is so satisfying. I'm sure Roman will be upset. I think he wanted to do this. Okay, <laughs> Google Assistant. And check it out, you can make shortcuts. Let's see if this works. I always like to have my cameras really easily accessible no matter where I am. So if I'm in Maps, I can actually go to my camera system and have all the beautiful cameras. Goodbye, Tundra. Thank you. I mean, you've seen this before. GM is quite good at their cameras uh, and options as well. Even the bed camera right there, resolution on most of these views is quite high. So yeah, uh, I cannot wait to um, actually do more things with it because we got a good deal um, i can take it to moab i can take it drag racing i can show it to you in various environments i can tow trailers with it of course the trailer brake controller is right here all right let me go get uh, roman because he's probably really sad writing those checks see you, oh, there, there he goes there goes our uh, tundra andre i ended up paying for this uh, vehicle we ended up saving a bunch of money well thanks well, to two dealerships actually yeah, thanks to the, both dealerships yeah, so yeah. it was still a check for like eleven thousand, <laughs> but we got ourselves okay. a new truck but i got the most important bits here what's that uh in the check this would be a spunt okay it's a little plug yeah i'm very anal about this i hate okay. when like rust develops on the inside of the hitch so you wanna you wanna so, plug yeah, it let's go let's okay. go plug it come on Let's go plug it. Roman, I, I, I want to show you one surprise I found. What's that, Andrew? Uh, when I was me. ordering this truck, I, th I think I did not order this. Are you kidding me? We got, we got something extra. We got a multi-flex. Get out! I did, I, I'm pretty sure I never specified this. You think, they, awesome. you think they all come with it? They might now all come with and, it. So. I see we have a... Yeah. So this is cool. And we have a plug. We have a ch uh, charge port here as well. We have this and we have this. Which is well, really useful. And uh, we have, uh, you know, more traditional bed liner, right? Because yeah. Toyota had that plastic. I'd yeah. like to do actually a long-term review to see what's better, the plastic or, you know, like the, the more traditional. Well, this is steel. This is our steel bed, steel, yeah. that, which has now been um, bed lined. Well, Andre, you want to do the honors? Oh, is this the TFL sticker? Yes. So, Roman, I, I want to do, I want to tell you that I want to do at least three things with this truck, okay? Yes, what, what is this? Um, so, I think when I was driving the performance exhaust system yeah. from Chevy Performance. This was on the first launch? Yeah, it was amazing. 
So I want to put this on this truck. I want I want a Chevy Performance exhaust. I, I am 190% behind that. Okay. Um, I also want to get rock sliders, which are actually like rock sliders. They're not steps. All right. Yes. Fair enough. And then, so you want to get those? And what's the third thing you want to get? And I want to get like a trailer camera system, right? Okay. Our truck is equipped to accept that. Yeah. And we've never showed that. So okay. I thought it would be fun. Does this have the one where you can actually see what's inside the trailer? Yeah. Oh, I love that. But yeah. we need the camera, actual, actual camera, which is an accessory. And we need a trailer where we have it inside. All right. First time behind the wheel of the top dog, Andre. This is a top dog Chevy truck. Exactly, from the factory. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would you say it's even better than the uh, Colorado ZR2 in terms of its off-road ability? I don't know about that. We'll have to test that. Well, I would say so because it's got a ruddy big V8. Yes, but it's also bigger and a little bit more maybe uh, just less maneuverable. So we'll have to test that and see. And how are we going to do that? We need a ZR2 Colorado. So guys, if you're near Boulder, Colorado, if you have a ZR2 stock truck, ZR2 Colorado, come on by and we'll take it out. All right, let's go for a ride. Please no donuts yet, okay? Don't, don't do donuts. I, I don't want to get dirty yet. Turn on vehicle location, should we do that? Sure, sure. why not, turn on vehicle. Chevy can know where we are. Well, they probably already know. They probably already know. <laughs> hey, don't take me to any strip clubs, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> we bought three big ass American SUVs. And a zip tie right there, holding on that crash. That's awesome, you know, I. Didn't know that GMC made Suburbans. Wait, this is not a diesel? Nobody can afford a diesel, are you crazy? Well, what is this white powder in the, oh, can't touch that. Why is it rusting so badly? Yeah, look at that, right around the windshield, you can literally see parts of the vehicle falling off. What died in here? You really gotta slam it. All right, everything is green, except for this truck. <laughs> Wow, what, what, what is that? Is there a boat on the boat? Ooh, pouch duty fluid is black. So the key goes in the pouch? I, I hope so. Or is that for unknown substances? So he says he's got disc brakes, let's be honest. But he's got no brake pads left. Someone's cobbled in a custom homemade bracket for the shifting table. First of all, which one is in the best shape currently? And which one is the best bang for buck? Go, 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 go. Oh, uh, 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 tree! Ooh, it's gonna be quite bumpy here. And away we go. Yeah. I think nine out of ten cylinders are really happy. Oh, stop, stop, stop. So for some people, that's about half a car payment right there. We're here on the White Rim Trail, and I think there is no more beautiful road in the entire world. Yeah, there are like three cars that went off the road here. Wait, what? Nathan, go slow? Hell no. Now this is when you really want a vehicle that's in perfect mechanical condition when you're navigating the side of a cliff. This is functional. Well, welcome to the Escalade at night. That is a metal hinge which pokes you right in the middle of the back. It was extremely cold last night. The food on this trip was spectacular. 